hello all i'm isha research scholar bps women university sonipat haryana the theme of my paper is english and effective interpersonal communication and the title of my paper is the bhagavad gita as a communicative text the pedagogical perspective introduction the bhagavad gita set in the narrative frame of the mahabharata is a timeless text which presents the synthesis of various concepts such as dharma truth yoga action and devotion it is a theoretical text which has an application value beyond time space and language because of its uniqueness originality infiniteness and permanence the art of applying spiritual truth in practical life has been revealed in the gita the truth can be applied by following three different paths of knowledge action and devotion bhagavad gita is an instructional module dealing with the philosophy of life and psychology we may evolve the true meaning of education through the virtuous knowledge advocated by krishna true education would provide children not only the intellectual stimulations but also the real purpose in life bhagavad gita as a communicative text can foster critical thinking in students by making them better communicators the bhagavad gita can be used as a source text book while teaching communicative skills according to gita the effective communication is that which contains the truth which is beneficial to the listener pleasant to hear and which is made only after self by self study austerity of speech and speaking words that are truthful unoffending pleasing and beneficial for the listeners the practice of the recitation of vedic mantra is also included in the austerity of speech one should speak in such a way as not to agitate the mind of others of course when a teacher speaks he can speak the truth for the instruction of his students when speaking in spiritual circle one statement must be upheld by the scriptures one should at once quote from the scriptural authority to back up what he is saying at the same time such talk should be pleasurable to hear by such discussions one may derive the highest benefit and elevate the human society this is the limitless talk of vedic literature in gita this is called the penance of speech the following shlok is from the book bhagavad gita this is chapter 17 and verse 15 this verse says the words which cause no annoyance to others and are truthful agreeable and beneficial as well as the study of the vedas and the other shastras and the practice of the chanting of the divine name that is known as the penance of speech that says chapter 17 verse 15 then the austerity of speech is followed by few attributes they are inoffensive which causes no annoyance to others there should be no trace of agitation while communicating the message should not agitate the mind of the listeners no should feel hurt or humiliated by the words of the executive the function of communication is more communication is more than transmitting information truthful they which conveys the correct idea of what one has seen heard or experienced when whatever is communicated must be truth the truth is a great human value propagated by all religious and spiritual leaders from the time immemorial agreeable it should be free from pungency scarcity and artless beneficial the words that are free from malice violence any sort uh, uh, and violence and full of compassion and compliment we listen to something only when it is relevant to us useful to us and important to us it is human nature to always inquire what is there for me in that transaction how am i being benefited by this similarly the effectiveness of a communication depends upon both the speaker and the listener this is therefore an art the art of communicating a message in a way the listener likes it and eagerly listens to it lord krishna uh, jesus christ buddha and ramakrishna paramahans has mastered this art and they were excellent communicators wholesome made only after the study while interpreting the stanzas as a guide for student communication students communication self study should be understood to mean the study of books and material pertaining to one's own field of knowledge acquiring proper study this knowledge is acquired only after the proper study gita also contains clear and practical guidelines for the teacher student effective communication by developing few ethical standards these standards can be of truthful and honesty then ethical communicators can act with integrity which is ethical standard that compels one to maintain consistency in belief and action then 
uh, fairness or the right balance of interest in regard to one's own feeling and the other side of conflict are in check then ethical communicator should show the respect or regard of a person uh, his point of view and their rights ethical communicators are responsible by being accountable for their actions and ethical communicators show empathy which is a principle of understanding the feeling of others now coming towards the conclusion communication is a vital for teacher student relationship bhagavad gita which is known as the song of divine forms a part of famous indian ethics mahabharata and it consist of um 18 chapters and 700 stanza it is a paper in in this paper an attempt is made to interpret one particular stanza of the gita which contains a clear and effective guidelines for effective communication according to gita effective communication is that which contains the truth which is beneficial to listener pleasant to hear and which is made only after self study in our country most of the training and development programs are based on the training modules prepared by the westerns or adaptations of their writing knowledge flows through the study and words flow coherently in an attractive manner from a knowledgeable person hence the gita contains a clear and practical practical guidelines for the teacher student effective communication thank you